We always encourage grant seekers to start their research by looking at government funding sources, as these sources can often provide most, if not all, the funding that you actually need, especially when you're looking for larger amounts of funding, like this organization. So let's start by going to the U.S. government page. Let's go ahead and select Texas. Now, scrolling down through this list, we'll see that right here under social services and issues, we have a link here under housing and community affairs. When we click on this link, it takes you to the funding opportunities available through the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs. Now, going back to the state page, we can also see under social services and issues, there's a Veterans Commission, and that'd be a valuable place to explore. Exploring some of the different links on the state page will take you right to the funding opportunities available through all the different agencies. Now let's take a look at some federal opportunities. Because the repairs program is for veterans who own their homes and focuses on safe and secure housing, let's go ahead and select housing. We'll start at eligible applicants by choosing nonprofits with a 501c3 status. And now we'll scroll down to our areas of interest and we'll select housing. Currently, we see seven specific results here, and if we take a look at these a little bit closer, here's one that might be of use for our particular needs. That's the Older Adults Home Modification Grant Program. Once we click this link, it'll take us to a summary, which looks promising, and if we are specifically in alignment with their specific needs, we could go ahead and take a closer look at the funding amounts that are available on the right. And we can find that the minimum request is for about $500,000. Under eligibility, if we scroll down a little bit more, we can see who specifically can apply for this opportunity. We'll need to take a closer look at the specific information by following the additional information link right here to see if it's a good fit for our specific purposes. But this would be an option for us to look in detail, maybe looking into having a partner join us and expand our initial efforts from Houston to maybe some other locations across the state. Now, you can, of course, save this to your dashboard by clicking on the Save button, which is right up here at the top of the page. Though we encourage you to always look at government funding opportunities first, today we'll also show you the depth and breadth of our U.S. Charitable database. And you can find that by clicking Find Grant Makers and clicking on U.S. Charitable. For this project, you may want to start your search by looking at both national funders and then those that give specifically within Texas. So we'll start by clicking on National. And we'll follow that up by clicking on Texas. Now, when we go into our areas of interest, it isn't initially clear which category veterans would fit under. Let's go ahead and take a look at our search terms to find out. So if we go ahead and click on search terms at this point, it'll open up a new window. And we can type in our keyword here. And we'll type in veterans. We can see that veterans are actually a targeted population, and it includes veterans and military affairs. So let's go ahead and go back to our search page, and then we'll click on our specific target population, and then click on veterans and military affairs. So now we're looking at about 95 results. Uh, we know that's way too many to review because your time is valuable. So let's narrow it down a bit. So going back into our areas of interest, Let's go all the way down to areas of interest, click on community and economic development, and that's where we'll find the option to click on housing. So now we're looking at 16 results. That's much more manageable to be able to review. So taking a look at these specific results, here's one right here, the Home Depot Foundation. As you can see, the Home Depot Foundation does have Houston, Texas as one of its specific areas where it has a geographic focus. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this profile by clicking on the link. They also have lots of criteria listed that our organization meets. Organizations that have previous experience developing or either currently manage their own veteran-specific housing are eligible to apply. Grants are only awarded to 501c3 nonprofit organizations that have been good standing. Um, eligible organizations also must have a current operating budget of at least $300,000 and audited financial statements from the past three years. This seems like a good fit. Let's go ahead and go to their website and look for more information. We can click that link right up here where it says visit website. 
So here's more information that we can specifically review. But it really looks like this will be a good funding opportunity for our specific project. So we'll go ahead and close this out, go back here, and save it to our dashboard. Now let's go ahead and look at things from a slightly different angle. We'll clear everything out and do some new searches. But first, let's think a little bit. The average $5,000 cost per home includes housing materials, supplies, and equipment to do the repairs, and food or meals for the volunteers. So let's adjust our lens and look under support from only entities that serve the state of Texas. And they're looking at veterans and military affairs as our targeted population. They have a specific type of support, that's product donation. So with these specific search terms, we can see we have five specific results. So if we're gonna expand our search, let's go ahead and remove veterans and military affairs and look for product donations more broadly. So we'll click the minus sign right here. As you can see, it widened our results to 23 specific options that we can look through, including ones, as I look down here, the Apache Corporation Tree Grant Program. Now in this particular offering, it looks as though we could request tree sizes varying from bare root seedlings up to five gallon containers. There's a minimum of 50 trees per request. So our project could handle a product donation like this to help with the outdoor beautification of these homes. Let's go back to our search page again, clear out our search, and again, look at it a little bit differently. We could search under the geographic scope of Texas type of support equipment and housing under areas of interest. So let's try that. So now we're looking at about 32 specific results. Now, while this might be a little high to review, the summaries provided right here on GrantStation provide that additional information to help you narrow down your research. For example, we know the project isn't serving Austin, Texas. So we don't really need to look very closely at the Austin Community Foundation. The way that you're looking at your project really impacts the diversity of funding opportunities relevant to you. So you wanna search broadly and look at your project from a variety of angles. Now you could add different criteria, such as seniors and aging, the veterans you are serving are seniors, or expand to national searches to find additional funders. You could also add economic empowerment or security under areas of interest to other criteria. There are lots of different lenses you can use to do these searches. Now, research and finding new grant opportunities on GrantStation is easy and quick and actually fun. This initial search is what we call primary research. As a member of GrantStation, you'll learn all about secondary research as well, which is the next step in this efficient research process.